item six. Item six on the other paper, which is correction of votes and proceedings and official report. We shall commence with the correction of the votes and proceedings of the third sitting dated Thursday, 17th October, 2024. Page 1. Page 2. Page 3. Page four. Page five. Page six. Page seven. Page eight. Page nine. Yes, honorable member. Speaker, thank you for the opportunity. Mr. Speaker, item number five on page nine. Mr. Speaker, the statement made by the Honorable Majority, Minority, the Honorable Atu Fawcett, Mr. Speaker, was respect of the fact that four members of Parliament whose names have been listed have, have breached Article 97.1G and H. It was not a mere allegation, Mr. Speaker. So the appearance of who were alleged to have been in breach, I believe that uh, it does not reflect the true statement made by the member. Because it was based on the statement that the speaker proceeded to make, to, to give information that you, you gave to the House. The speaker further, in indicating the names of the honorable members so named, their current situations and circumstances were clearly stated in the motion paper. So that, for instance, uh, the first name, Peter Yaokwachi Aka, the NDC member for a Memphis Central, and now an independent candidate. Uh, Mr. Speaker, so the statement contained these clear facts. And therefore, it's important that they reflect in, 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 the, in the proceedings as captured for, for purposes of correction. Mr. Speaker, I thank you for the opportunity. Yes, uh, Honorable Member for Madina. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. Right Honorable Speaker, um, I also want to draw your attention to the same, um, the same item, the, the, the paragraph five, the, the, the ending statement, which is majority